let's be real. It wasn't ever Trump and Russia. It was always the media and the DNC are people from the Democratic and some Republicans who have been colluding this whole time to take the president out because they wanted to keep their gravy trains going. And they knew that the president was not for, well, that they knew that they basically, that he was going to help out or at least be championing to, you know, make America great again. Bear with me, he wanted to bring jobs back to America instead of making it such a globalist thing because you know, with the politicians, they haven't always been as rich. Some of them have, whatever, but like, they can't, they come from the political standing, the political backgrounds, and um, Trump helps, he's not a politician. He hasn't been always paid for that way. He, he's a, he comes from the business perspective, not the politician perspective. And I think that's actually a really a benefit for him and for us, and even the government actually, because they've been doing the same thing for so long and this one wheel and they haven't, like sometimes whenever you feel like you're part of the slave, you know, stuff and you're from the inside, you can't get out. But having someone who's not, who hasn't been in it is able to see it from a different perspective and see, like take a different approach instead of doing the same old. So the people who have been in, in it for a long time and who have been getting incentivized or, you know, didn't want him to be there because they wanted to keep their gravy chain growing, going. Anyway, so I think that the media has been getting their information from certain leaders in office to push that narrative and those certain people I want to say set framed in my opinion they framed the president and um, they started this whole Russia collusion in the beginning to get the heat off of Hillary Clinton and you know the people who were doing the wrongdoings in the DNC and so that you know that whole corruption thing wouldn't be exposed on who's doing what because like Hillary said a long time ago when she gets taken down, she's taking down everyone with her and people are like, no, 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 she has way too much dirt on me, cannot, you know, I will not allow anyone else to, you know, get this. And you could say conspiracy, whatever, but America did not want Hillary from the get-go. Even the DNC, like, they wanted Bernie. He was the one that was turning out people at the rallies. He was the one that was getting the votes. There was all this manipulation going on from the higher-ups, Debbie Sweets, Deborah Washington Schultz, whatever, I can always say your name wrong. Um the lady from the plane who met with Bill Clinton in the tarmac and they said that they didn't right before she was about to, you know, you know, right when she was about to get in trouble and they were investigating her for all the emails that she did. Um, there were, I mean, you know, the people that are feeding their questions, everyone, basically it was a huge corruption scandal. And when Bernie got conceded, rather than calling her out and trying to find all that other stuff, he went along with the collusion because he didn't want whatever dirt they were going to dig up on him either. Okay. So, he went along with it. Everyone went along with it. Donald Trump came along. He was going to blow that whole thing out of the water. So they had to find a distraction. And I, in my opinion, they framed it. That's all I'm going to say is that I think that they framed it. I think that that's why. And then whenever Mueller came back with, no, that you didn't do this because it's like Jesse-ish level. Like it was probably like ridiculous and they knew that it was something that wasn't right. They're like, no, wait, but wait, but wait, we know he did this. We know he's guilty. We know he's guilty. And they're like, yeah, we know he's guilty because we freaking did it. You know, so let's keep putting in these things that we planted so that you can, he can reevaluate that stuff because we know he didn't release it. But I think that Mueller is waiting for them to basically Im implicate themselves like he did with Jesse with the records, you know, not him, but like, like the Chicago police did with Jesse with the records and they waited for him to turn it in so that they could figure out exactly what it was. So I'm thinking, in my opinion, that Mueller said no, whatever in hopes that the people who are doing this stuff would expose themselves. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Have a great night. Bye.